Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another AliExpress haul today. This one is a little bit smaller than normal just because I have been um, quite good with spending throughout July and August. I've been very busy so I haven't had time to do a lot of online shopping but I have got four unopened packages here to share with you today. Again, I don't know what any of them are so it will be a little surprise for all of us. But before I get onto opening those, I've actually got one more package that I already opened because I was too excited. Now this Paul Rubens brand is not really available widely in the UK. There's a few on Amazon, but there's loads of them on AliExpress. I saw this set and I really wanted to give them a go because they're all actually all like really bright neon colours. The packaging is really, really nice. It comes with this little piece of fabric in to keep them all snug. And then you get these tiny little tubes of watercolour paint. They're all neons and bright colours. And some of these, they are, when they say they're neon, they are really, really neon. Like they are like highlighter colors. Um, I think instead of swatching these, I'm gonna do a whole video on these and like test them out, do some swatches, do some painting. So if anybody has any suggestions on what I should paint with these colors, because they're super, super bright, obviously most things in real life are not this color. So if anyone has any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and that's what I will paint with them. And I'll do a, a whole nother video on that so you can have a look. I have tested these out a little bit. I've tested a few shades and I actually painted this with them. This is a card that I made and I used one of the pinks, the red and the orange paint from this set to paint these. And you can see like they are really, really vibrant. It's not showing up as bright on camera as it is in real life, but they are super, super bright. And they're really easy to use as well. I really like them. Even though they're only small five mil tubes, you still get a lot of paint in there and um, because it's watercolor it will go a long way and they're really really pigmented as well so i only used like the tiniest little bit of paint to paint these and they're so bright and vibrant so i'm really pleased with those they were a little bit more expensive than some of the other stuff i buy on aliexpress but i think they were worth it they're really really good quality much better quality than i expected so i might get some more paints like this from the Paul Rubens brand. So dead pleased with those. If you ever want to know the prices of anything in my AliExpress hauls, I always put the price in the description box because I don't always remember it. And I always put the link to the product as well. So if you wanted to go and buy it for yourself, that it will be in the description box. Now we can start opening some of these packages. So I've got this little one here. So these are some more paints. Uh, I like how they've wrapped them all with tape so they don't leak. The lids don't come off in the post. That's very thoughtful of them. There's quite a few different colors of these available on AliExpress, but these are essentially just like little tester pots. Ooh, it's gooey. So they'll squirt a little bit of the paint into the pot for you and then you don't have to buy the full tube. But there, see, there's a lot of paint in here. Like I don't get through a lot of paint. I can't exactly remember the color I, colors I bought, but I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see um, but I've got four different colors there's like a really like a turquoisey blue there this is a red and then this is probably like a dark purple I think and the thing I liked about these is they're very well when you use them and you mix them with water the colors kind of break up into multiple different colors so you get sort of this like duochrome effect you'll see in the sample pictures that I put on the screen is how they're meant to work but I might also try these out in another video if you want to see how these perform please let me know in the comments I'll do a quick video demo and we'll do a painting together with them this one is a more of a flat one but I think there's a few things in this one oh, I've been waiting for these for ages so these are like long strip stickers I don't know if they are self-adhesive but this one is like a vintage map one. So you get all these strips of different vintage maps on, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you can see all of the designs on the back there. Uh, and then this one is like retro tickets. So there's, you know, like airplane tickets and like the tickets you get at a um, arcade and stuff like that. I thought those these would be really fun for doing sort of collage -y type cards or if you're into journaling, these are great. When I see like vintage -y style stuff on AliExpress, I just find it really hard to resist. So I have a lot of stuff like this. Yeah, this should be fun to use. I think they'd be really, really nice on cards if you were doing sort of a more masculine style card and you wanted to make it look a bit more like grungy and antique -y. These will be really good. Yeah, quite pleased with those. They did take a very, very long time to come, but I'm glad they finally did because my purchase protections actually ran out. So. <laughs> There's this one as well. So this one is a selection of ribbons. I said this before, I quite like how AliExpress lets you buy ribbons in small amounts because for card making, you don't want to buy like a five meter reel. So I can just get a little bit. There's a strawberry one, which I thought was really, really cute. I think I've got a yard of each in this. Which is 
really nice, quite chunkier than that. Like leaves, and it's got a little bit of texture on the leaves, I don't know if you can see there, and it's, it's like punched out a little bit like lace. Little flowers, it's really cute. Which at first I thought maybe I didn't order this one, but now I'm looking at it a bit more, it does seem like I recognise it, so that's more of like a vintagey floral one. I have to figure out a way to store these because I can't really just shove this in my drawer. I've seen people that use like pegs and they wind their ribbons around the pegs and I think I might do that with some of my ribbons because I think it will be a better way of storing them. At the moment I have quite a lot of rolls like this. This, I don't think this is a very economic way of storing them. It's great to buy them in because you can see what the, the design on the ribbon is but then like all of this wasted space in the middle here it just takes up it's like too much space in my drawer. So I might reorganize them all and put them all on pegs or something. Hey, maybe I could film that. That would be quite a satisfying video to watch, wouldn't it? Yeah. I am planning on filming a whole uh, like studio tour soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. My, my like office slash studio is pretty much finished now. So I can probably do a full tour of it if you're interested. Cause a lot of people have asked me about it. This is the last one. I've saved the big one till last, actually. This one is really large. It must be more ribbon, I think. Wow. So this was a bit of a surprise. This package actually had multiple packages inside. So I don't know if this company sort of shipped everything individually and then forwarded it on in one big package to save on postage. But that means instead of that being the last one, we've got another five packages to open. So I'm pretty chuffed about that. This is like the best thing that's happened today so far. These are, it's more ribbon, but these are like, these are stretchy actually. I thought these were really cute when I saw them online. This is like stretchy kind of lace, I guess. Well, it's not lace, is it? It's like a tulle edged ribbon. But I thought it was really, really cute. It's got this little pattern on the inside that's a little bit like flowers, if you can see that. Kind of hard to show you because it's dark. And then I got the burgundy version as well because anything in burgundy, I just can't resist it. So it's just the same stretchy. That's really, really nice. I really like that. I feel like that would make a nice trim on the top as well if you were into, you know, upcycling your tops. I'm not sure how you would attach it because I'm not a seamstress, but. I ordered lots of ribbon last time, can you tell? This is like a white ribbon, and then it's kind of variegated, like messy stitching through the middle, which I thought was really nice, like it changes color. You think that's pretty? I really like that one. I just got, I, maybe I just got the one because I wanted to see what the quality was like before I got more, but they do have other colors as well. Some more like stretchy ribbon. This is very similar to the, the navy and the burgundy one I showed you before, but instead of being, um, having a pattern in the middle, it's just got the elastic. But I thought this was really nice as well. Even to like layer under a thin ribbon would look really good. And then like this one's the same, it's just in like a baby pink. I kind of sometimes want to get all the colors, but I try not to, I try to <laughs> just get a couple if I like it. Um, because I really don't need hundreds of different types of ribbon. You know, I already do pretty much have hundreds of different types of ribbon, so. I actually realized since ordering this, I think it's like a copy of a Simon Says Stamp one. But I've got, I've got a few, I've got a few like this and I use them all the time. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, having all these sentiments is really, really handy. I like all the different fonts on them. But yeah, I think the original design is from Simon Says Stamp. So if you want one like this, I would suggest going and looking at their site because you can support them instead and their designers, which I won't be getting any more of these. I'll be going and getting them from there instead. I do really like it though. And the other ones I've got are really, really good. So I use these all the time. This is the last package. Unless it's got loads inside, I don't think it will. Ooh, this is a good one. So we've got a rainbow die. That is very cute. Which cut, it cuts all your things for your rainbow and a little heart. And then I've also got the stamp set that goes with this, um, which has got the little patterns that you can stamp do they fit on here or is it just to go with it i can't remember maybe i'm wrong they look like they would but you can obviously stamp these you don't have to use it with the die you can stamp them alone to make like a patterned rainbow which i thought was really really cute it's just got 
five pieces to make your five rainbows. Does anybody else get annoyed when rainbows don't have seven things? Because like, how am I supposed to do a proper rainbow? Because I can't fit all the colours. Is that just me being really rational? It really annoys me. So that's those. I've got this one, which has got some animals. So there's a flamingo, an ostrich, a giraffe, a meerkat, and a llama. And then it's got all these cute little sentiments around here. I haven't seen this anywhere else, so apologies if this is a copy of another brand, but it's really hard to tell on AliExpress because there are some that are unique to that site, but I'm trying not to buy any more stamps off of them now just in case really, but these were just too cute. And then I have a dog version because I realised I didn't really have any dog stamps and quite a few of my friends now have got dogs, so you know. So these are, these are really, really cute. I can't name all the types of dogs because I'm not that much of a dog expert, but if you know, you will know what the dogs are. And then you have some cute sentiments dog related sentiments there yeah, nice stamps there so that's pretty much everything i could fit in the shop today i hope you enjoyed my haul and you found some stuff that you're interested in i think this is quite a good one we've got a good mix here i'm mega excited about the paints and i'm pleased that all of my ribbons have finally come in because i've been waiting for those for ages if you want to see me do a review on any of these products or use them in a project please leave me a comment down below and let me know because i can do that and that's no problem if you want to go and check out any of these products on aliexpress or find the prices then look in the description box because i always list them there with a link to where you can purchase them from i hope you enjoyed watching if you want to see any more videos like this there are quite a lot on my channel already but i tend to film them every month or so when i get new packages in so i hope you'll come back to catch some more i'll also link the playlist down below where you can watch all of these videos if you have missed some of them thanks again for watching and i hope to see you back here on my channel again soon bye